what's up? Fan Medlem here at Walrus Audio with the new Luminary Quad Octave Generator. I've got a Roni Star Blaster with uh, McNelly Cornucopia pickups, and we're running into a Fender Twin. So that's my sound without the Luminary. So we've got full volume control over all four octaves. bring in any combination of one or many. So right now I've got one octave down and one octave up on. Dry wet control, of course I can pull it all the way dry. No octaves, pull it all the way wet and we don't have any of the original guitar signal. So you can get some really cool sounds that way. If I roll this bottom octave out, and what's cool about this <coughs> that you don't get out of a lot of other octave pedals is that I can still hear the guitar, the pick attack and things like that, out of the octave signals by themselves without having to have the original signal back in. Bring in the two octaves up. So if you want to play some bass, roll the other octaves out, roll your fundamental out, roll one octave down, up. So the attack control is handling the amount of time it takes for the octave to engage, and how much of your actual pick attack you're getting when you strike a string. So with all the way down, that's the fastest attack time. Roll that up, and that means it's going to wait a little longer. You can hear it swell in, but you're not getting the pick attack that you were before. as opposed to the filter control it's a low pass envelope filter basically I've been playing with it all the way up start rolling it back you're gonna have a slightly warmer sound less highs, start rolling it way back, and we can get pretty funky. Which is really fun on the bass sound. The harder you lay into the string with your pick, the more you're going to hear the envelope filter effect. The flutter control is, uh, can get you kind of a light chorusing effect, lower settings. We'll dial in kind of a kind of an organy sound here. So the depth is fixed. The knob controls the rate, so we've got it set pretty slow right now. So 
the flutter control, low settings, got kind of a wobbly chorusing effect. Bring it up to medium settings, got more of an organ type, uh, kind of a Leslie sound. So if I roll that up a lot, I get a pretty extreme modulation sound. Roll the attack back. And then if you want to have even more fun with it, you can start playing with the filter with the flutter on. So we've also got a preset switch here that'll run you through three available presets. Kick it off and you're back to the front panel. All right, so let's make a preset. Here's the sound of my front panel right now. Here's the red preset. Obviously they're very different. So let's make something, let's make something easy. Let's say I want to switch to uh, just a one octave down plus the fundamental sound live, right? So I can kill the two octaves down. I can kill the octaves up, bring the flutter back, bring the filter back, turn the attack time to the fastest attack time, run about noon on the wet dry, and now I've got this sound. I've got to do is hold the preset button down and now that's my red sound so there's the front panel sound but I want to switch to my red sound so I've got my front panel plus red green and blue presets which gives me four total sounds on stage <laughs> 